Hello everybody, welcome back to more Banjo-Kazooie. We are going towards World 9, the final world of the game today, and it's going to be one doozy of a world. Not as difficult as the last one, but just, it's going to take longer, because it's absolutely enormous. So, you know, we're going the wrong way. The cauldron is this way. Cobweb room. We've been here quite a lot, haven't we? Well, instead of taking the blue cauldron to Rusty Bucket Bay, there's more we can do in the ice cavern. Through this way. We can reach this door now. Watch out for the puffer fish. We have 800 notes, which is over 100 more than what we need. Now, before we go anywhere. Oh, there's a mumbo token up there. But we can't reach it. Ah, oh, so this is nasty. There are all these whiplashes in the way. But we can just wander way through them all. And look where we are. This is an Omega Grumbling. They take actually a lot of hits to kill. Well, two red attack wraps. They take like four rolls, though. Hey, Bruntilda. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is flying radio-controlled bats. I mean, that's, that's kind of cool. This poor guy called Greasy Grant was her first and only boyfriend. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a greasy warthog as a pet. You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. Grunty, you you interrupted your sister. That was rude. So this is World 9. We can't get inside. Also, I adore this music here. Nothing there, but you can see these leaves over here. Let's try using them as platforms. What? No, banjo. If we wanted, we could go for that note door towards the end of the game, but I want to go to World 9. Well, first off, if we go through this way... We get the Ikabokum token. Might as well, at this point, why not? Beehive there. And there's a switch here. Wonder what this does. Yeah, remember way back in an early episode we saw that portrait? You have to go over here until you to actually create the Jiggy Unlocker. And fun story, the first time I played through this game, I didn't think that you... I thought it was like a glitch that I couldn't open the world early. So I actually ended up using like a secret code in the Treasure Trove Sandcastle to open Click Clock Wood without needing the Jiggies. I felt like a fool when I actually got here. Anyhow. That's not all there is. There's a tiny little secret cave down here. Which leads us to the other red cauldron. Remember him? This creates a nice little shortcut allowing us to actually open up World 9. Also, <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of fun trying to find that if you never actually found it earlier on in the game. You're gonna be like, where is it? Yeah. Well, back we go. Here we go. World 9. Click Clock Wood. Oh man. That is a world. It may 
make no mistake about that. <sighs> this is a fun final world. It's a lot better than Rusty Bucket Bay, but it's really difficult. And it's arguably even more frustrating if you die in it than if you die in Rusty Bucket Bay. Because collecting all 100 notes on this world, ooh man, takes so long. Because again, this world is like four times bigger than all the other ones. I'm still here! I watch TV. Anyhow, enough stalling. Let's go to Click Clock Wood and finish up this final world. Welcome to Click Clock Wood, everybody. So the gimmick is four seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. It's the same level, but you can visit them in different seasons, and each season has different things in it. Same basic level, but slightly different. Anyhow. Over on the autumn side, there's this giant switch here. And this will open up the way to spring. We have to go to spring in order to find the summer switch, we have to go to summer to find the autumn switch, and then we have to go to autumn to find the winter switch. Yep, we have to visit the same world, which is already a pretty decently sized world, four times. Yeah, it's like a cool gimmick, and it's got really good music. But, man, it just takes forever to get everything in this world. <laughs> These little Robin Hood hippos are pretty easy to take out. So in spring, everything new life has begun, and it's raining. And the leaves are really tiny. So we got this nice little pond here. Oh, hey, it's Naughty. What's up? Somebody move this boulder! Naughty can't get in his house! Uh, that, that's a shame, Naughty. I'm sorry about that. Not sure how much I can help, but... This is a fly trap. If you step on it, it will eat you. You can use Wonder Wing and Vulnerability if you want to step on it, but there's also another easier way later on. So yeah, uh, main gimmick, look how big that tree is. And we have to climb it. One wrong step and you can instantly die. Isn't that fun? And there's a little hole in the center of this. Let's spit some eggs in here. This will make a giant plant grow. Or at least start to grow. Don't ask how. And see these holes? Remember the worms? These birds are worse versions of the worms. Because they're smaller and faster. You're gonna really hate them once you get to autumn. Bramblefield, ouch! My Bramblefield makes you yell! And loss of life, it sure does help! So yeah, don't step in the brambles. And now we've circled the level. Mumbo's over there, we're gonna visit him later. He needs 25 Mumbo tokens in order to transform us. In spring, those birds aren't that difficult to deal with. Now we just start climbing the tree. In later seasons, though, the birds get faster. Oh wow, we're up to 30. Cool. I do really like the faces and sounds they make. This is a giant beehive. 
Gum, boom, gum, beware. No, oh my gosh, no! How did we not take any damage from that ball? Wow. And the funny thing is, I was trying to demonstrate a proof of concept where you can't enter the beehive, you're too big. These are the annoying birds. Because if you do the double jump across, they will hit you. If you do the rat attack rap across, chances are you aren't going to jump far enough. In autumn, there are a lot more of those birds. <laughs> Which can make them very annoying to deal with. <laughs> they are funny enemies, especially when you defeat them, but holy cow, they get very annoying later on. Anyhow. Thankfully, once you take them out, they stay dead until you leave the level or die. I believe even if you go to a different season, they still stay, uh, stay dead. Alright, well, just believe me when I say you can't enter the beehive. A couple of those Mad Monster Manor in and out jumps. Jump out, then double jump back in. We had to do this when we opened the Mad Monster Manor. And here we are at uh, what looks like to be the beginnings of a treehouse. It's got good potential. I bet Robin Hood and his buddies are building this. Hey, gum, bo, gum. Thanks, camera. Oh wow, you, you don't actually have any bees over you, Mr. Beehive. And here's the summer switch. Yeah, you gotta climb real high up in the tree in order to get enter summer. And hey, what's this? Yeah, I'm not like acorns. I'll just eat a few more. That is a sizable pile of acorns. And that is dangerous, my friend. Also, the music in here is kind of sad. I think that's everything. Yeah, Nabnut's house doesn't really have anything in the spring. Couple tricky jumps, but nothing too bad. Wow, they just throw a lot of mumbo tokens out of stuff there. Oh wow, hey, that is one giant egg. Can Kazooie shoot this? <laughs> That's one powerful egg. Let's have a catch. Wow! Me Eerie! Mighty Ego! Need sleep now! Wow, um, so that eagle was born with a diaper. That's, uh, not a thing that happens. Okay then. Well, I say, verily. These jumps can be a bit precarious, especially the high jumps, because you gotta move forward just enough in order to actually reach this, but not so far forward that you end up hitting the log on your way out. But we did it. Green Jinjo in there, but there's an easier way to get it than just using Wonder Woman vulnerability. Welcome to the cavern at the top of the tree. You know what? Oh, hey, it's a Jiggy. Our first Jiggy of the whole level. Yeah. And we've actually explored, like, basically the entire place in the spring. Now we only have one Jiggy. That should tell you something. Oh, alright. I'll get the green Jinjo. 
Now let me tell you what, folks. This is a level you definitely want to use this trick. Holy cow, do you want to use that trick? Out of my way, bull. Alright, now we're gonna need to pay Mumbo a visit. And finally, we get a transformation that's A, different from the other transformations, and B, actually really good. It's definitely the best transformation in the game. Use the waiting step boots to get across that annoying bramble field. We need 25 Mumbo tokens. Shop change. Hey Mumbo, here's 25 tokens. Change me into something good. That something good is a bee. Mumbo magic, much good. B is best yet. Yeah, he's he's not lying. B is a really good transformation. B still can't attack. The only transformation that can attack is the crocodile, but it can fly. It controls basically exactly the same as Kazooie's flying controls, except you don't use red feathers in order to fly, which is really nice. And also, for some reason, even though the B is a bug, the B can actually walk on the fly traps, no problem. The fly traps apparently will only hurt you if you're in Baron Bird form. Mm -hmm. The bee also cannot go in the water. If you try flying, in, if you try entering water, it will force to fly you on the surface. Also, a nice thing about the bee is the bee cannot take fall damage. Yeah, see, <laughs> just kind of bounces you off of it. So I think I did basically everything I could as banjo. I was planning on getting the green Jinjo as B, but... Meh. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, I think holding B while flying makes the B fly fast. Oh yeah, it absolutely does. Now, fittingly enough, the B can enter the beehive. Yeah. Hello, fat little bee. We subas are guarding Grunty's golden honeybees. We've been told there's a honey bear out there. Oh boy. Yeah, we can't grab that jiggy. However, you do want to visit the hive. Because there's pink Jinjo in here. And I believe this is the only... Yeah, this is the only... Season that has two Jinjos in it. Every other season only has one. We'll be back, bees. Remember this window here. We can't enter it yet. But we will in a later season. When there's something good in it. And also remember this window. Here he is sleeping. I don't think there are any other fly traps around, really. I wish the drop distance was a little better. Remember this tree branch as well. There's nothing on there in this season. Hey, bro. Give me that. Please and thank you. Alright. I think that's everything for spring. Worst case, we can always come back. Oh, yeah. Hold B to fly. You'll fly like twice as fast if you hold B while flying. Ah, yeah. Here we go. He's gone, bull, gone. It's also much faster to fly than it is to walk. Anyhow, with the bee, let's go back to the... I don't even know what to call this place. The lobby. The lobby. 
I'm not sure if there's anything for the B to get high up in this room. In case you couldn't tell, there's going to be a lot of bees around the beehives in the summer. Let's see what summer's all about. Mumble magic, get weak. Magic run. Yeah, you can only take the bee in spring. 